for me, the connection with the river is almost an essential part of my life for, for work and for recreation. I almost think I, I couldn't live anywhere where there wasn't uh, water or access to water. And it's interesting because I really wish that that were a greater part of other people's lives as well. I think in, in reality, a lot of people in the area may not even realize how beautiful the river we have is or the, or the amount of water that we have around that's usable. River care to me is maintaining the, the river corridor and all the parts of it that are essential to its health from the, the actual river channel to the riparian zone on the bank to the floodplain and beyond in its entire catchment. We get to work in some of the most beautiful places in the Shire. We're very lucky to be able to do that and also work with like-minded members of the public who volunteer their time to come and help us restore the bushland and along the riverbanks. Oh, look, our rivers are really important in our Shire. We are a water Shire. We're a drinking water Shire. It's a great recreation facility. It's important for our farmers, it's important for our residents. You may have heard of bush care. Uh, this river care program is, is about getting community support. A lot of birds, a lot of animals, a lot of our mammals, a lot of our animals that our Shire is known for use our rivers as corridors. What we're trying to do here is to regenerate them back to its natural condition. Yeah, we've got like over a thousand plants uh, here to go in uh, to replace a lot of uh, the, the weeds that were here before and we're doing our bit to improve the catchment. The planting will help with soil erosion, it'll help with water quality. Shading the river will actually help with fish breeding and it'll actually be habitat for frogs. Contributing in a way that's helping in a very important area of the environment, which I think is sadly lacking at the moment. The fact that we're planting natives means that we'll get more bird life, more native wildlife um, coming in, much better than weeds. Can you hear that? That's the reed warbler. It provides places for them to nest, to, to be comfortable. And a bird needs to have somewhere it can, it can conceal itself, it can escape to. All the climate change and how many trees we're cutting down nowadays, it's really a big impact on the environment. I feel like planting all the trees is uh, really good for the future generations and to help our environment. I feel like all the rivers are very important for all the native animals. Cause it's like a, I feel like it's quite a good source for all of them, for like their drinking water. And by planting these trees, by helping the water, it's helping all the animals as well. Oh, I see. Almost everybody should be planting at least one tree because it's such a big help for the environment nowadays. Well, it's a huge, uh, huge project to restore rivers to their previous uh, condition. And they all come together, they all form part of the whole. And uh, when everyone's pulling together, of course, the rivers must benefit. And we can restore uh, some habitat uh, over the years and really embrace um, the Windacabri River for what, it's, for what it is. It would be a really exciting, successful project. When you get to know and love a place, you're more inclined to care about it and to look after it. Just getting more people out into the actual environment and onto our waterways where they can see how beautiful it is, and then hopefully they'll find that worth protecting.